All right, so now that we've studied the slope-intercept form for the equation of a line and the point-slope form for the equation of a line, now we're going to combine all these things um, and, given some data, find the actual equation of a particular line. So we'll start with our first example here, which says find the equation of the line passing through the points 4, 2, and negative 2, 3. Now, in order to find the equation of a, of a line, uh, we're going to use either the slope-intercept form or the point-slope form for the equation of the line. And both of those forms, we must know what about our line. Well, we have to know the slope of the line. If we are not given the slope of the line, then we have to have enough information to be able to go and find the slope of your line. Well, all we're given here is we know our line goes through the point 4, 2, and negative 2, 3. But all we need are those two points to find the actual slope of your line. So first thing we need to do is find slope. So make a little, uh, make a little note. We're going to find slope. Okay. So m equals 2 minus 3 over 4 minus negative 2, which goes to negative 1 sixth. All right, so the slope of our line is negative 1 sixth. So now what do we have? Well, we have two points and the slope of our line. So we'll use the point-slope form for the line. But make note that in order to use the point-slope form, you only need to use one point. You have two here. So the question is, which one do you choose? Well, the good news is it doesn't matter which one you choose. Just choose one point either 4, 2, and negative 2, 3, and the slope that you just found, and go find the equation of your line. I would choose 4, 2 here just because everything's positive and we don't have any negatives, but after you do that, why don't you go try negative 2, 3 with the slope negative 1, 6 and see if you get the same line. You should get the same exact line. That's the beauty of this. All right, so I'm going to take this one right here, 4, 2, and negative 1, 6. So why? Using the point-slope form, we're going to have y minus 2 equals negative 1 sixth times x minus 4. All right, and if we take this and write this in slope-intercept form, you're going to look like 1 6 x. Uh, what's that? 2 thirds. 1 6 times 4. And then add 2 to both sides, and you get y equals add 2, 6, so plus 8 thirds. So there's the equation of your line. If you were to graph this line, it would pass through the points 4, 2 and negative 2, 3. We also know immediately what the y-intercept would be, which would be 0, 8 thirds, right? Because it's in our nice little slope-intercept form. All right, so in order, in order to find the equation of a line, you must know the slope of the line. All right, let's try another one. Let's try this one. Find the equation of the line passing through negative 1, 3, and we want our line to be parallel to the graph of 2x minus y equals 3. Well, do we all remember what parallel means when two lines are parallel? That means that their slopes are equal. They have the same slope. They go in the same direction. So if we knew the slope of this line, we would automatically then know the slope of the line we're looking for. Everybody agree? All right, so then let's find the slope of this line. How do we do that? Well, we could write that in slope-intercept form, and we'll be able to read the slope immediately. So if we take 2x minus y equals 3 and isolate y, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and then divide everything by negative 1, you get that. So the slope of this line is 2. So the slope of this line is 2, which means the slope of our line. So our slope is also m equals 2. Why? Because we want these two lines to be parallel. All right, so now you've got a point, and now you know the slope of your line. So we can find the equation using the point-slope form. So y minus 3 equals 2 times x minus a negative 1, which is x plus 1. And then writing that in slope-intercept form would look like the following. So y equals 2x, was it 2x plus 5? And that is the equation 
of your line. If you were to graph this line, it would pass to the point negative 1, 3, and it would also be parallel to the graph of 2x minus y equals 3. All right, so now let's do another example. This one was, let's just make this A. Okay, and now let's do B. So, find the equation of the line passing through the point negative 1, 3, but this time we want our line to be perpendicular to the graph of 2x minus y equals 3. All right. So, the slope of 2x minus y equals 3 is m equals 2. We just found it from up here above. Okay. So, our slope has to be what if we want our line to be perpendicular to this line? Okay, so the slope of this line is 2, so our slope has to be negative 1 half, because remember, lines are perpendicular if their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Okay, so now you've got a point, and you've got the slope of your line, so now we can go find the equation of that line. So y minus 3 equals negative 1 half times x um, plus 1 again, because it's x minus a negative 1, and then write that in slope-intercept form. So you have y minus 3 equals negative 1 half x minus 1 half, add 3 to both sides, and you get y equals negative 1 half x, add 3 to both sides, uh, so negative 1 half, so that's going to be plus 5 halves. I'll leave it to you guys to figure out how to add those fractions. If you were to graph this line, it would pass through the point negative 1, 3, and it would be perpendicular to the graph of 2x minus y equals 3. So, moral of the story. In order to find the equation of a line, you must know the slope of your line. If slope is not automatically given to you, then you must have enough information to be able to go and find the slope of the line that you're looking for. And then all you need is one other point that lies on your graph, uh, and you can go find the equation of that line. All right, so study well, and please let me know if you have any questions.